With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Bear. The parents of a Jacksonville man gunned down Tuesday night say their son, 29-year-old Vincent Samuels, was the victim of a targeted attack. And they're pleading with the community to come forward with any information they might have that could help police. The family's offering $1,000 for information that leads to an arrest in the shooting on East 25th Street Tuesday night. Police say two people in a white vehicle fled the scene. The 14-year-old charged with second-degree murder and the death of 13-year-old schoolmate Tristan Bailey will now be represented by the Public Defender's Office. A judge today granted Aiden Fucci's attorney's motion to withdraw as counsel. Attorney Anwar Snober had represented Fucci since his arrest. Snober did not specify why he wanted off the case, but said that he was in agreement with Fucci's family members. And an Atlantic Beach man accused of setting a Bradford County motel on fire will face a judge in the morning. 42-year-old Christian Singleton is accused of setting the fire and making bomb threats this afternoon. Investigators say he set fire to the Economy Inn off US 301 in Lottie. Firefighters' efforts to put it out were quickly hampered when the sheriff's office says he put up a fight and said that he had a bomb. One of the officers on the scene wound up bitten. Singleton is in custody facing arson charges. Always the latest news online at newsforjax.com.